Hey everybody, the other day I was looking through Netflix for something to watch. Now, I was doing the typical scrolling through everything and I'm like, man, if only there were some good recommendations for what to watch. And then I realized that I've watched some pretty good shows over the last year or so. And in case anyone out there is looking for something to watch, this could be a video for you. So what I'm basically doing is I'm just gonna say five shows, not really in any particular order, but they're all ones that I would recommend watching. They're very entertaining. I'll give a short description about them and then you can decide whether or not you wanna watch them. The one I'm starting with is one that came out more recently. It's the one I've watched the latest and it's actually top 10 in the US right now. Uh, it's called Arcave 81. It's like a thriller, horror, sci-fi kind of thing. If you're into that, it's really cool. It's basically this guy who's restoring tapes from an accident and there is some weird stuff on the tapes. If you're looking for something that'll creep you out, maybe give you the chills a little bit, make you look around when you're in the dark, it's a good one to watch. Moving on is The Billion Dollar Code. Now this is a really good TV show about how basically Google stole a bunch of the code for Google Earth and just got away with it. It's really interesting and it tells a really good story. It's a true story. I kind of told you the basic plot, but there's a lot more detail to it. If that interests you, go ahead and watch it. It's on Netflix right now. The next thing I'm going to recommend is actually an anime. So if you're into that, you can stay. If not, you can move over to the next one. But for those of you who are willing to watch it, it's called Erased. I'm sure a lot of you who are watching this because you watch me probably have already seen this. But if anyone hasn't, this is a really good anime. I don't really want to give too much away about, but there's this guy who can basically go back in time, small increments, in order to make things right. But all of a sudden, he goes back to when he was a child, and he has to correct something in order to go back to his time. So it's a really good show, and I give it a watch. Now this next show is for those of you who like the show Squid Game, which I'm sure many of you do, seeing that was the most watched show in Netflix's history. Um, it's called 3%. I'm suggesting it because, like I just said, it's very similar to Squid Game. Same vibes. It actually came out before it. However, it is in Portuguese, and you'll probably want to use the subtitles because the dub is okay. It's not the best, but it's not, it's not terrible, but it's not, like, exceptional, so... I'd go for the sub version, but it's a good show. If you like Squid Game, I'd go ahead and give it a watch. My final recommendation for this video is one that isn't actually a Netflix original, but it is on Netflix at this point. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have already watched it because it is a massively successful show, but it's The Good Place. Now, if you've seen The Good Place, you know why I'm recommending it. It is a fantastic show, great characters, great story. It's just something really good and something that stays consistently good throughout the different seasons. It's something that doesn't deteriorate like Game of Thrones. It's great. There's four seasons of it. They're all good. Basically, there's this lady, Eleanor Shellstroff, who was put in the good place instead of the bad place when she was clearly meant to be in the bad place. That's the basic premise of it. And just give it a watch. It's really good if you haven't watched it. Uh, if you have any other suggestions for people down in the comments, or if you want me to give more suggestions, let me know. I will do it. Uh, thank you all for watching, and that'll be it for today. There's some pretty good shows.